Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so this will be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and as well Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading September 23rd to September 20, uh, 29th, 2019 and bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Virgo, is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here. We do have the Queen of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week for you that is going to be the Knight of Cups. And then the last one here, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering, that is to be the Six of Swords. So before we... Uh, Scrutinize the reading here. Let's uh, run the cards one more time. So we do have the Ten of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, topic and the general theme of your week, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges. That is going to be the uh, Queen of Cups. Afterwards, it is the uh, positive aspect here of the Knight of Cups. And then the last one, uh, that will be the Six of Swords, which represents the guidance. And uh, this uh, reading... It looks like of a some sort of a reconciliation that you're going to make, which someone that you have very close to your heart is going to be severely against. All right. But before we go, um, yeah, well, now we are going to go into that. And um, the first card here, uh, which is the topic, it is the Ten of Pentacles and it is accompanied by the Nine of Swords. So we do have passive enemies and uh, it's uh, about... A, an appearance of a person that betrayed your trust and uh, they want to make it up forever, right? Uh, but um, they are going to find you in a uh, state of independence, state, state of uh, sovereignty, uh, seeing that you can live your life without them as well. You know, that could be, uh, that, that, that doesn't have to be, you know, with a romantic flavor but most likely it's going to be with a romantic flavor. For some of you guys, it may be about business partnership, all right? But the thing is that you are good enough on your own right now, or you are feeling as good as you can on your own, and there is, uh, you may not feel a necessity to make this reconciliation, okay? You may kind of not understand, but like analyze that it will cost you more uh, if you try to make that uh, reconciliation rather than to just move on on your own, it is because you don't want to live through this again, whatever that this is, okay? You don't want to live through the past once again. Apart from that, the week itself, it looks like that is going to be rather calm in the sense of that uh, you are going to be surrounded by warmth and by a, a pleasant people around you who will take care of your happiness in general or take care of your sense of security that is so it, apart from this one from your past that comes around it doesn't look like that anybody else is going to give you a rough time but it is important throughout the week to understand that whatever fears you do have 
in regards to the previous situation with this person, those fears are not going to be just only provoked by that person coming into your life right now, but also with the next one. So if that's about, say, a relationship, you may feel reluctant right now to reconcile it is because you don't want to live through the past once again. But when a new one comes around, you may have the, f the fear that the past is going to repeat itself, even with a new person. All right. So eventually you need to stand against your fears and over overcome those fears. Now, the challenge that you need to overcome throughout the week is going to be in the face of the Queen of uh, Cups, and it is catalyzed here by the Nine of Cups, and that is a person who um, will try to make you see that you are in a good spot right now, all right, emotionally at least. You don't need to jeopardize that thing. As a matter of fact, instead of uh, trying to revive a, a, a situation back, back from the past, back from the days, and so on and so forth, you need to rather right now focus upon what you already have, you know, and uh, you shouldn't concern yourself with what has been broken. And instead of trying to uh, revive and pick up the pieces from the broken thing, you know, and try to glue them together instead, you should throw all of your efforts into uh, stabilizing your current situations, like with current people of interest, current projects, and our current businesses, and so on and so forth. But the thing is that the Queen of Cups, it's a, uh, well, I, I can't speak ill things about that person, the Queen of Cups, not Pentacles, but Cups, excuse me. Because it's uh, that person is very emotional attached to you. It's like your bigger sister or it's like your mother. All right. It may not be your mother, but it could play a, a motherhood figure in, in your life. And uh, she thinks that she knows your future, uh, not your future, but your human nature. She thinks that she knows what you need. Um, and uh, that you don't know what you need, you know, it's it's no different than a mother with a child. The mother thinks that what uh, the things that knows what the child needs, and the child doesn't know anything about what the child needs. And uh, it is where points of conflict may arise. But also, it's a person who is very capable of maintaining secrets, you know, privacy and so on and so forth. So at the very least, you can definitely share things with, uh, with the Queen of Cups without um, worrying that those secrets of yours or those sensitive topics are going to be brought to light. Uh, nonetheless, however, uh, that person will strongly advise you not to try to make the reconciliation. The next card here is going to be the, the Knights of Cups, and that is the positive aspect accompanied with the Ace of Swords. So uh, a bit of a contradictory, it is what we do have here. Now, the positive aspect, it is that person that comes around uh, from your past, Knights of Cups, and... Uh, that's the thing, okay? They they miss you in the sense of that because the Knights of Cups is someone who always uh, move make moves toward their dreams of their uh, toward the dreams of their heart, and for one or another reason, they probably realize that they are not so indifferent towards you as they thought they are, okay? And you are for one or another reason. Um, a small or a, a big dream of their heart. Problem, however, with the Ace of Swords here, as it falls as a um, active, new, a passive neutral, excuse me, to the Knights of Swords, is they don't have any clue how to do it. All right, they ha they have no clue whatsoever what you need, how you need it, and what you hope for. Uh, uh, they they do have the hope to work for it. All right. And whatever they promise at the start, they have no clue how to achieve it. But in the same time, they're not afraid to work for it as well. So should you decide to make the reconciliation, what is the positive aspect here of this person is that they're going to listen to you. All right. Whatever you say, go. That, that's the whole point is because they fully understand that you are the one Virgo who has the brighter, the brighter understanding upon the situation. You are the one who um, knows how to fix the things or kind of like how to sustain those things, to secure those things that you do have in between. So if that person was a bit um, scampered back in the days or a bit insubordinate, that is not going to be um, that is not going to be an issue right now, but the issue is going to be your expectations, okay? You may expect a lot from them while they have no clue how to... Uh, 
how do I say it, how to prove, how to accomplish or fulfill your expectations. So should you decide to make the reconciliation happen, please guys, be milder to them. Give, it, give, give them a break, all right? Do not be, do not give them a, a hard time. And the last one it is the guidance and uh, that will be the Six of Swords accompanied with the Eight of Cups. So the formation, it is a active uh, neutrals once again. So uh, this, uh, this guidance urges you to close your eyes and just, you know, do it. Uh, it, is, it is all that these cards are pointing. For a reason being, it is that uh, whatever you are afraid of, okay, uh, like I said, eventually you will have to stand against those fears and it is best to stand against those fears with a uh, unknown, okay, unknown perspective instead of uh, with a unknown perspective. Now, while the current situ the situation back in the days which uh, you left was rather unfortunate, now these two cards are pointing that the situation that is in front of you with that person definitely beats the odds, all right, and definitely will be rather better than the one that you have uh, that you have escaped escaped back in the days. And additionally to that, these two cards are pointing that the potential of the future in between you two, it's, it's kind of limitless in the sense of that you don't know what is to happen. So do not approach it in a biased fashion, in a biased way, but just allow yourself to think the most positive aspects of it, all right? Or to have the most positive outlook that is going to come around after um, after you make the reconciliation. Because like I said, you will be the one who dictates the rules. So if things does not turn out the way you have expected, it is because you haven't dictated the rules the way you wanted to dictate them. All right, so that being said, uh, uh, Virgo, that was your uh, weekly tarot reading September 23rd to September 29th, 2019. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, Bye.